Good morning, friends. My old stupid voice is back. I had the worst surgeon ever and my vocal cords retreated. Anyhow, let's get started with today's video. Today, Taiwan Semiconductors released their revenue for June. All publicly traded Taiwanese companies must report their revenue every month. I think this is a good law. It reduces the volatility of reports and allows everyone to follow the case more closely, rather than getting an unpleasant surprise every third quarter. Revenue grew by 32.9% compared to the same period last year. From January to June, revenue is now up 28% compared to the same period last year. However, compared to May, there is a negative growth of 9.5%. May tends to be a stronger month than June, and we saw the same pattern in 2023 and 2022. Overall, TSM is now well above its own revenue guidance for Q2 and the half year. I think the stock should be traded up on these numbers today. But it's always hard to say, especially since the stock has been performing strongly for an extended period. Speaking of DSM, I've started to wonder if the valuation is starting to get lofty. Today, the stock is trading at a PE of 35.6, which is the highest valuation since the peak in 2021, and before that, the stock had never been at these multiples before. It's a big difference from when we could buy TSM at a PE of 11 in the fall of 2022. Those were the days, and not too long ago either. However, I've always thought that DSM is a company that deserves a premium and a higher multiple than many other companies in the sector. They have a fantastic history, profitability, and a unique position in the market. So yes, I think DSM should be more expensive than it has been historically. And now, the company is more expensive than it has been historically. Quite a bit more expensive than it has been historically. Looking at the past 5 years, the average PE has been 28, and over 10 years, the average is 23. But is the valuation fair right now considering the company is expected to grow more rapidly than in previous years? In the image, you can see my own estimates for the coming years. Mostly, I've based these figures on what the company itself has communicated in its reports. I've been following DSM for about 5 years now, and my impression is that management is very good at their guidance, both short term and long term. However, their own guidance often falls just below the actual results. The company has communicated that revenue is expected to grow between 20% and 25% for 2024. I've chosen to go with the high end of the guidance since the monthly revenue for the first six months of the year is higher than their own guidance. Adding that management's guidance tends to be somewhat conservative, 25% seems like a reasonable growth rate for 2024 as long as nothing unexpected happens. Furthermore, the company has also communicated that they expect growth over the next several years to be around 20%. What next several years actually means is unknown, but I calculated it through 2026. One should always be cautious about extending the trend too far. For 2024, the stock would then be trading at a PE of 29.4, in 2025 at a PE of 22.2, and in 2026 at a PE of 18.5. Referring to the magic table, we can start estimating what DSM should be worth given the expected growth in the image above. Using a required return between 8% and 10% and an earnings growth of 20%, according to the company's own guidance, the table gives us a PE between 32 and 39 as a fair valuation. Given the estimated growth, TSM looks quite cheap right now if we just look ahead to 2025. So is TSM an obvious buy here and now? Well, it's not that simple. I'd like to adjust this down a bit since the table is meant to be used for more sustained growth over a longer period, say 10 years. Even though I love TSM, I find it hard to believe they will grow 20% annually over the next 10 years. Between 15% and 18% seems like a more reasonable scenario if you extend the trend longer. Then we end up with a range of PE 33 at the highest and PE 22 at the lowest. A very wide range, and this is the difficulty with extending the trend over a long period. Personally, I think DSM feels like fair value at the current level. Based on the figures for 2024, it doesn't look incredibly expensive nor obviously cheap. Based on the 2024 guidance, the company is now trading at a PE of 29, which I think the stock is worth. But as someone who already owns a significant amount of DSM, I don't think the stock is worth buying at these levels. Not right now. Something that could quickly make DSM look cheaper is if margins return to 2022 levels. Can it happen? Yes, maybe. It largely depends on the yield for their 3 nanometers chip which will account for a significant part of revenue in the coming quarters. It will also depend on whether the company implements its rumored price increases during the year. If they dare to increase the margin, it looks very different. 
but I don't dare to. In my opinion, there are too many assumptions. I'm often very cautious when analyzing and valuing my companies. I don't like to assume too many unknown variables. At most, I try to look a year ahead. Making a 10 plus year forecast gives me nothing of value. Because no one knows how the world or a single company slash sector will change over such a long period. In summary, I think DSM feels like fair value at current levels, given the guidance for 2024 and 2025. That said, there isn't much margin of safety for potential missteps either. While we're on the topic of semiconductors, yesterday ACLS came out with a sort of reverse profit warning. The stock climbed 5.17% and has been performing well since it entered my coffee can in March 2024. It's still pretty quiet on the macro front today as well. The market is still gearing up for Thursday when Germany and the US release their CPI figures. But we can at least be happy that Powell is giving a speech again today. As I often point out, it's rare that anything new is said when it's not an official Fed meeting.